In this quick video, I'm going to unbox and install this $17 bike saddle. So this is the box that it came in, and here's the, the saddle. Looks like it comes with some extra, not extra, but tools, some instructions, and this one even came with a water bottle cage too. Can't believe that for only $17. Actually, it was about 18 with taxes. And I have Amazon Prime, so I got the free shipping. So it looks like we have an installation guide. That's pretty nice. I don't think I'll be needing that. Neatly packed here. First of all, we get a couple Allen bolts and a Allen key. Okay, it's nice they give us even more Allen keys as well as a multi, kind of a multi-bike tool. That is pretty nice actually. I can't believe all this for that low price, especially when right now the prices of everything are going up so much. Yeah, it's a little plastic, fully plastic uh, bottle cage. Not super nice, but uh, it's nice that it was included. I'll definitely use that. Okay, here's the saddle itself. I wish they had a version that didn't have any uh, kind of like red light, uh, red writing or anything like that, but uh, they didn't, at least not that I saw. The bottom body of it here is uh, plastic. Looks like steel rails, so not ideal for lightweight uh, application. You have a steel clamp right there. The quality actually looks, you know, okay for $17. I don't expect a whole lot at that price, obviously. But I mean, it's all there. I don't see like uh, fabric flashing out on the edges or nothing. I do see a little bit right there. I do see a little bit of fabric right in there. Oops. I just noticed there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of play right here. I don't think it's enough that you'll be able to um, see the movement, but I can kind of feel this plastic is not fully solid against this metal. I wonder if this, <laughs> thanks Adriana, I wonder if this, um, if this could be needing to be tightened down a little bit. So I'm gonna go grab an Allen key and make sure all these Allen keys, Allen bolts are fully snugged down. It is, it is going a little bit. It's weird, it's going, it's turning quite a bit. It's almost like this isn't even threaded into anything. This is very strange to me. I don't think that's really threaded into anything, which maybe is the problem. That one feels like it is. That one's very snug. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. The little bit of movement is is still there. Hmm, doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and give it the, check the weight and then we'll put it on the bike. All right, we're zeroed out. The saddle itself is 365 grams. Actually, before we install it, let's see what the size is. This is my SDG saddle. Um, I really like it. Unfortunately, I did drop the bike and scratch it once, but uh, it looks like they're almost identical. This one's just very slightly longer, exactly the same width. Let's go ahead and measure it, and I'm sorry I don't have my metric measuring tape with me here. So we have to go with the standard units. Uh, looks like overall length is 11 and 3 8 inch. The width, check the width, we have, I'd say 5 and 7 8 Me, yeah, about 5 and 7 8 wide, I think. Profile is a lot different 
than this one. It's much flatter up here. This one rounds off more. I think I tend to like this shape better, but um, it does have a cutout. Some people like those. I don't really care myself too much about that. All right, let's go ahead and take this one off. I'll go ahead and weigh it too, and then we'll know for reference the weight. He's a bit less at 291, so you're saving, you know, over 60, 64 grams with this saddle. To be honest, the quality of this SDG to me doesn't look that much better. It has a plastic bottom. I, these might be aluminum rails, whereas I believe these are steel. Hey, you know what? Let's check on that. Are these really steel? Are these really aluminum? That's my SDG saddle. Here's a magnet. Ah, SDG one has steel rails, and so does this other one. I should actually say it by name rather than just other one. W, or excuse me, YLG, the YLG saddle. Okay, good to know. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, one, one, before we go ahead, one thing to note is look at how much higher the rails are compared to the SDG. The SDG is much more of a low profile. This one's a higher profile. Interesting. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and install it. I get surprisingly dirty under here, but uh, I'm not gonna install this saddle for long-term use. I'm really just doing it for the video. This is gonna go on another bike pretty soon, a new build that I'm actually planning. I will go ahead and install it right now. And in fact, tomorrow we have a uh, critical mass bike event. So I'll just leave it on and That'll give me some uh, seat time with this new saddle. This frame is a little bit large for me, so I tend to like the, uh, the rail, uh, the seat shifted forward a little bit more than I normally would. Let me see, I might be able to show you that slight amount of movement I was referring to earlier. It's not a lot, but you can feel there's a little bit of movement. Anyway, here's what it is. Uh, we'll see how it actually rides, how it actually feels. Uh, I think I'll go for a little spin right now and I'll let you know what I think. And if I find that I need to do any other updates, I'll do them in the description so you'll know what I think of it long-term, if it feels good, if it feels bad, or if it falls apart or whatever. All right, guys, I just got back from a tiny little short ride, but I can say it feels actually pretty comfortable a little bit stiffer than I expected, and the area that you sit on is fairly large and flat, at least compared to my SDG saddle. Right now, I definitely like this saddle a lot better, but it might just be because I'm a lot more used to it. So let me give this one at least some hour or two of riding, and then I'll put some information down in the description on what I really think about this one in terms of comfort and stuff like that. Also, of course, I'll let you guys know if it breaks or something like that and exactly when it breaks. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.